All right, guys, what's going on? It's not welcome back to another episode of Escape Simulator. Today we are back with the Labyrinth of Egypt and we're going to dive into the penultimate chamber, which is called the Chamber of Danger. Dun, dun, dun. Which uh, is very spooky and very dangerous indeed. Um, so without further ado, let's have a look to see what we have got. Okay, so we've got a dial here. Each one of these dials seems to be represented by a combination of some description. Uh, now it's not just the one above, as you can see, there are lines that go across to it. So, okay, that's um, interesting. Not sure how we're going to use that. We'll keep an eye on it, though. All looks to be important, so we'll put that in our inventory. Here, we have various bits and pieces. Looks like we perhaps want to put gold in here. We did this in a previous, um, this in a like a previous um, puzzle, didn't we? Where we like melted down the gold. Over here, we've got various um, bits and pieces. Which. Right, let's start again. So that one, dog, bird, bird. Oh. Okay. That one, dog, bird, human, bird. All right, so this one, dog, bird, human, bird, man, dog. Fantastic. We have two bowls now to play with. And down here we have a notepad. Story of the unlucky camel. Camel drinks in the oasis at the sun's zenith while the scorpion hides in the pyramid. Camel sleeps by the pyramid when the sun sets and the scorpion lurks in the oasis. Camel is bitten by the scorpion. The sand dunes when the sun rises. <laughs> okay, so camel drinks at the oasis. Scorpion eyes in the pyramid. Okay, that's the first one. So camel then sleeps by the pyramid. When the sun sets, sunset is gonna go that way. And the scorpion lurks by the oasis. And then we've got camel is bitten by the scorpion at the sand dunes. When the sun rises. Oh, I missed it. There was a secret there and everything. Did you see it? There it is. One of the tokens, look, on the beetle. It's um, going from place to place. All right, anyway, we are now done with this note here. So can we let's maybe put that in the bin? Because we know we're done. So we've got three balls here. Now I'm guessing it's going to be one ball in each of these. We don't know which one is which, though, do we, at the minute? There's no markings or indications on them, I don't think. There might be, there'll be probably some other literature somewhere else that will tell us um, what is where. We have a pickaxe here, though. Did that uncover anything? Oh, only a token was just the token. Alright, so we need to work out how are we going to get to this one here. And... That... But... Square... That foot square. Okay, let's... Ah, hold on, let's put this one in here. So I'm guessing... How do we know, though, 
I'm just trying to work out how we would know like which of these shapes represents this over here. Is there anything else that we aren't seeing at the moment? not really showing me anything else at the moment, is it? Yeah, it's obviously the... I say obvious, it's not obvious at all, is it? I would assume... Oh, hold on a moment. only certain ones that have certain symbols. So, can we also on this one see a lion? No, she has a bird. See, I'm looking at this one here, right? This one only appears on here. But appears twice. So the foot appears on that one. And then we have the that shape there. But how do we know what is left? I'm not seeing how to make the... I mean, it's got to be one of these, right? Hold on. Let's think about this. It's got to be one of these. So it's got to either be this one, lion, which could be the lion, like the comb, and a bird. So it could, it could be either one of those. Okay. There must be a clue missing somewhere. Unless it's saying one of these has to be, can only be one of these symbols. Am I 100% sure that like there is no clues on here? I do kind of feel like these are just for... So here it looks like we've got to make these balls levitate. So that one's right. Okay, so they're all right. So we just need the gold ball then to fit in the last one. This one, so the square has to be there. Or oh, there or there. Foot can be here or here.
clean up on everywhere. I have to have a bit of a clean up every now and again because just in case there's like something hidden below that I'm not able to see. Doesn't appear that there is. You see, I would I would assume or I would think that this actually means indicates this left hand side one, okay? This one would have to be foot. But there is no foot on there, so this one would have to be foot. There is no foot on there. I am conf Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. So, just got to find the right one with the right symbols on it, of course. That one is stays that one. That one is the owl. Which means this one will be this shape. Oh, man. Okay. We'll go into there. That goes into there. That one. It's there? No, that's not right. It's that one, that one, that lines up there. That goes there. That one doesn't line up with anything, though. That one can't be right. That's definitely not right, because that one doesn't um, see anything. We can't move the golden scarabs, either. So that has to be right there. Move the middle one. That's right. Ah, uh, there we go. With about a minute to spare before uh, running out of time for the trophy, we do manage to escape the room. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really surprised I didn't see that before. But just finding the right one of those pyramid dials to turn um, was effectively all we needed to do. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're through the chamber and uh, we have one more of the Egyptian ones to tackle, which we will do next time out. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate your support. And until next time, I've been Norky. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming.